Phones are not for the internet. Phones are for talking. I mean, if you want the internet, you go home, you sit in your office, you sit in your study, on your nice couch, and there you go, there you have the internet. But phones are for texting, phones are for talking to people. The telephone is becoming something very profound. It's becoming the tool that we hold every day. They're much more intimate than computers. You carry them anywhere you go. And in some way, they're much more linked to who we are and to how free we are. And so to have that device, which is with me every day, be constrained by the choices of a few companies as to what I should see, seems to me even worse than the computer. Wouldn't you agree that we don't really need to have the whole entire internet on our phone then? When it's almost like a part of me, I really want it to be able to do what I want, not what some carrier wants. I think the phone is actually essential to our freedom because we are tool-using animals. And the degree to which we control our own tools is the degree to which we continue to be free. Do you really think these phone and cable corporations, whose job it is to keep the customer happy, would actually block free speech or, or run amok uh, on the internet doing whatever they want? You know, I don't think that the companies, if they could do anything they want, would necessarily completely ignore user requests. I just think they'd try to steer you. <laughs> they'd sort of try to make you go to where they want you to go, as opposed to where you want to go. And it sometimes can be subtle. The company's job is not really to keep the customer happy, but to keep the customer spending as much money as possible and not so dissatisfied that they leave.